What's up, YouTube? Say this your boy Chris Lee, aka Tony. Check this out. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is, uh, you know, of course, y'all know that I work with all kind of different programs from Pro Tools, Cubase, you know, Nuendo, Cool at the Pro, Fruity Loops, Reasons, whatever you want to call it. All these different programs. Well, today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on Adobe Audition um, 3.0. I haven't messed with this program in a long time. But uh, I started recording something last night, and I really liked how it turned out. So if you're looking to get a uh, professional quality, perfect quality sound and music, my tutorials is what you want to watch. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and get started. <clears throat> uh, just starting off, I already have some uh, vocals here that I have recorded. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't want that to get that small. Okay, um, what I'm finna do is just let you hear uh, what I recorded, and I'm gonna play with the with the beat and without the beat. So here's my vocals uh, without the beat. Check it out. I'm too real for the haters. haters. Candy paint navigators. navigators. The haters gon' hate on me, but the haters ain't got what I got. And don't be mad that I'm fresh and your bitch she won't be. Won't don't be mad that I'm taking and your bitch she won't be. Won't be. It's not my fault. Oh. I'm a fresh ass oh. nigga, so pussies keep hating on me. Hey, yeah. pussy niggas get like me. I know you hating on me cause you can't be me. Walking through the club, ladies staring at me. They want my autograph like a star on TV. I got them like, who is that? What's his name? What he do? Where he from? Damn that dude, so talented. I'm glad you like it, but you ain't really heard nothing yet. It's Chris Lee, your boy. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Y'all know that I sang and I rap. Those are my vocals. Um, I did a verse where I'm singing and rapping. Now, this is what it sounds like with the beat. Like I said, if you want good quality, make sure you continue to watch this video. And don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't exit out. Check it out. Keep watching. I'm too real for the haters. haters. Candy paint navigators. navigators. The haters gon' hate on me. But the haters ain't got what I got. Don't be mad that I'm fresh and your bitch she won't be. Don't be mad that I'm drinking and your bitch she won't be. It's not my fault. Oh. I'm a fresh ass oh. nigga, so pussy keep hating on me. Hey, pussy yeah. niggas get like me. I know you hating on me cause you can't be me. Walking through the club, ladies staring at me. They want my autograph like a star on TV. I got him like, who is that? What's his name? What he do? Where he from? Damn that dude so talented I'm glad you like it but you ain't really heard nothing yet It's Chris Lee, your boy confident and cocky Call me Sylvester Stallone like Rocky See your boy got swag like a motherfucker Okay, <clears throat> so now that you heard the quality I thought that I should get to the good part first Of actually letting you hear what it sounds like Now what I'm finna do is just go in And uh, pretty much show you what I did Now there's a lot of different ways You can bust tracks uh, you can do all kind of stuff like that uh, in Adobe Audition. But what I'm going to do is just show you how to get the basic quality uh, of what I have right here without no buses, no masters, no anything like that. Uh, so, <clears throat> the first thing that I want to show y'all is uh, say for uh, track one right here. Okay, now I went to dynamic processing and you see it has like different presets now you can go in and you can pick which one um, which one ever fits you or which one's best but if you see what I have on there from just what you heard with the quality that I have dynamic processing on there studio reverb uh, I have an auto tune for vocal cleanup an amplifier and echo just on each one of my tracks now you can do it individually on each track or you can do a bus track uh, and put all these same effects on one track and just send all your tracks through that one uh, bus track, auxiliary track. Okay, so as you see on here, uh, <clears throat> after I put all my presets in uh, or whatever I want, I always save mine, so mine says nice preset. And that's what all these uh, presets are on here from the, from the one that I want. So say if I pick the random one, my presets change. That's not the same effects that I had on the track. But I go to nice presets, 
presets because I already uh, saved it and you do that by clicking this also I got a reverb on here studio reverb what I do with studio reverb is either I go in here and pick one or you can use like um, the default or whatever it is and I go in and change it the reverb that y'all hear on here look at my settings I have this at 39 for wet the dry at 100 the fusion you can turn it up a little bit uh, the room size you always want to make sure that you adjust your room size correctly uh, for your reverb uh, for anything compressors or anything you want to make sure that you have your room size adjusted correctly uh, <clears throat> only you will be able to tell what kind of sound that you really want uh, from your studio uh, from, from your studio quality only you will be able to tell uh, if it sounds right, fits what you like or not. Now you know what professional quality sound like, and you know what your quality sound like. So you want to try to listen to other people's songs who have good quality and try to match your settings uh, to make your quality match theirs as much as possible. Uh, <clears throat> so the rest of this stuff, I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, you can see the settings. Like I said, uh, I put a little auto tune on there for. Uh, uh, vocal cleanup. I can sing without without auto tune, of course. But um, you always want to use auto tune for vocal cleanup. Uh, you don't want to be too much like anybody else, like T Pain. Um, you want to just use it for vocal cleanup. <clears throat> How you use it for vocal cleanup is if you turn this retune speed. Look at my settings: zero, 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 zero. Turn this up all the way up to a hundred, and this is to get the T Pain effect all the way up to a hundred. Turn the amplitude all the way up to 30, pitch all the way down to zero. Uh, everything else, oh yeah, you relax. You want to turn your relax all the way to 100. Pick whatever your input type is, uh, type is tenor, whatever you are, alto, soprano, whatever. Uh, you want to turn humanize up to make you sound more human, uh, not like a robot. And the retune speed, if you turn the retune speed all the way to zero, it makes you sound all the way completely like T-Pain. If you turn the retune speed all the way back, uh, it'll make you sound like a regular human, like you don't have a auto-tune on there whatsoever. But if you do it somewhere in between like 50, 45, something like that, and you can actually sing, it'll make your voice sound regular, uh, like your normal voice, but uh, clean it up a little bit. Make your, your notes that you mess up on uh, a little, little bit better than, than what you... Uh, would sound like if you didn't have it on there. So auto tune is not necessarily used to sound just like T Pain. Uh, and a vibrato, you want to turn that down so you don't have too much uh, vibrato on your vocals. Uh, the next thing I did was amplify. I did a 3 dB boost, and the reason why I did a 3 dB boost is because you don't want to have your mic settings on your your interface all the way up too loud because then you start clipping. So if you let it record it low and put an amplifier on it like a 3D boost, then that handles it for you. You don't actually have to do it on your um, interface and have to worry about the clipping. Next thing I did was an echo. I went in. See, when you see this box blank like that, that just means that I took a preset in here or the default preset and adjusted these presets to my own settings, which they, which they don't have a name. Now, I could easily click this button. And, and name it as nice echo and they will save it but I don't want to save it because this echo is not going to be the same echo for each song so with that being said as you can see is <clears throat> another important thing is your EQs Let's click that box okay when you put your EQ in nine times out of ten say for instance let's click this one it has my presets that I already saved in there now but it starts off at zero but when you click save watch what it does this is a blank track with no vocals and I click sexy EQ which I named my EQ look at that it put all my settings on there so my settings this 3 two, 1 I look at it as uh, high mid and low so my high I got it at 15 my mid I got it at 6.0 and my, my low I got it at negative 10 and I put 
I saved it and put those presets on every track that I every track uh, that I recorded. And the same thing with the the vocals, uh, the preset vocals that I have for each track, uh, the reverb, dynamic process, and auto tune, amplifier, and echo. Did the same thing on each one of those tracks and just saved it all the way across. So now from from now when I record another track, before you record, you always want to put your presets on there first. You click that, go to wherever your uh, whatever your settings are, and mine is nice EQ, and bam, it pops all your effects on there. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and play it one more time, let you hear the quality that I got, and y'all go ahead and leave comments and tell me what y'all think. Now, like I said. I hope this tutorial is very helpful for y'all. If it's not helpful, the reason why I can't go all deep into depth uh, with everything that I'm doing, for one, I don't want to give out all my tips. Um, for two, I can't, my tips don't, my tips is what works for me, for my vocals. I don't know if that works for you and your vocals, but I can promise you and guarantee that if you do use my tips, that my uh, tips would be very helpful uh, to getting your quality a little bit better than what you have uh, if you have bad quality. I use all kinds of different mics so you ain't gotta ask. It's not even based on a mic. It's based on your mixing and your engineering skills. So listen. I'm too real for the haters. Candy paint navigators. The haters gonna hate on me. But the haters ain't got what I got. Don't be mad that I'm fresh and your bitch she want me. Don't be mad that I'm licking and your bitch she want me. me. It's not my fault. No. I'm a fresh ass oh. nigga, so pussy she hating on me. Hey, yeah. pussy niggas get like me. I know you hating on me cause you can't be me. Walking through the club, ladies staring at me. They want my autograph like a star on TV. Hey, who is that? What's his name? What he do? Where he from? Damn that dude so talented I'm glad you like it but you ain't really heard nothing yet Now how I did that little radio effect thing Let me show y'all that real quick before the video ends um, Let's just go to that track And click mix it real fast before this video end What I did was I turned Remember I said 3, 2, 1 is my high, mid, and low I turned my high all the way up to 32 My mid all the way up to 12.3 and my low uh, down to negative 32 to get that radio effect sound. So uh, let me let you hear that one more time. I'm glad you like it, but you ain't really heard nothing yet. It's Chris Lee, your boy, confident and cocky. Call me Sylvester Stallone like Rocky. See, your boy got swag like a motherfucker. I don't give a fuck, and you a sucker. Buster rhymes, nigga, always put it down all the time. I don't give a fuck, nigga, money I shine. Trying to get six damn figures. Yes, sir, you fucking with a real nigga. So that was my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, I hope it was uh, helpful, and I hope you liked it. Uh, also, check out my music. Check out my Reverb Nation. Check out my MySpace. Uh, hit me up on Facebook. I don't really have a Twitter. I'm not into Twitter, but I do have a Global 14, uh, and I, I guess I can put all the links in the description box. But if you need tutorials, want to collab, anything, go ahead and hit me up. Thanks for showing love and support, and I'm glad that y'all watching my videos. Thanks for all my fans, subscribers, and everybody who uh, continue to tune in on everything that I'm doing. Now, trust me, like I said, my tips work because you heard the quality. If that's not good quality to you, then I don't know what good quality is. Uh, but thanks for watching. You need help, need tips, hit me up. Don't hesitate to talk to me about anything. Please subscribe. Please like my videos. Please uh, let other people see my videos, post them wherever, help other people out who need help, start collabing, start networking. Networking is real important. Thanks for watching. Chris Lee, aka Tune.